I've got a very difficult puzzle for you to solve today. It's actually two puzzles in one. First of all, how to solve it, of course. Second of all, how to build one of these. Why, that's even more puzzling. This is called Jacob's Revenge. It's not my idea, I can't take the credit for it. You can find other YouTube videos on how to solve this puzzle. However, you're probably not gonna find another video on how to build one of these. I couldn't, which left me trying to figure this out on my own. Let me show you the puzzle and then you'll understand my dilemma. All you have to do is get the ball to touch the cork. The problem is that when you tip the bottle, the wooden rod blocks the path. Just to be very clear, here is a large picture of the puzzle bottle. Again, the goal is to get the ball into the neck of the bottle, touching the cork. The problem, however, is every time you turn this over, the peg drops down first, leaving the ball behind. But now, I'm gonna show you how to solve it. The solution is simple. Slowly tip the bottle until the ball rests in the groove. Give the bottle a quick spin and the two pieces fly in opposite directions. Can't get much easier than that. Now for puzzle number two. How would you build one of these for yourself? There's two difficulties here. First of all, how do you get two perpendicular dowel rods into the bottle? They won't fit past the neck. Somehow I was gonna have to join these two pieces while they're still inside the bottle. Uh -huh. Then even if I could do this, how in the world am I gonna get a nail in the bottom of the dowel rod going through the small perpendicular dowel. I struggled with this for a couple of days. Then it hit me. I'm not sure if the makers of this do it the same way, but here's how I did it. I bought this four pack of bottles, which seems to closely match the original. Other things you're gonna need, a wood ball, cork for the bottle, a half inch dowel rod, and a quarter inch dowel rod. The ball in the original bottle looks to be about an 11 16 diameter. I couldn't find a solid ball this size, but I did find this wooden bead. It'll work after I plug the holes with some wood filler. I'm making some careful measurements on the half inch dowel rod according to these dimensions which I put together. For the groove in the dowel, I'm using this contraption I set up on my drill press. Test fit the smaller dowel. It should slip in nicely, not too snug and not floppy. I'm pre-drilling the bottom of the dowel for the nail. Drill it straight. Mine was a bit crooked, which gave me a little bit of a problem later. Right in the center of the quarter inch dowel, I'm drilling a small hole for the size of this 14 gauge stiff wire to slip into. Now pay attention. This is where I really get clever. Using the half inch dowel rod I prepared, I'm going to manipulate the hole to line up with the small dowel. This is why I left the half inch large dowel rod long sticking out the end of the bottle. Once the small dowel is lined up with the hole, I can press it against the side of the bottle. The length of this long dowel rod will give me leverage. Now I can give the wire a tug to remove it. Once the two dowels are lined up, I can press the nail against the bottom of the bottle. This should slip in fairly easily with the pilot hole that I made. Now I can cut the dowel rod to length. Be careful not to cut it too short or you're going to ruin the whole thing. I can't really give you the exact length because it depends on the bottle you're using. The perfect length is where the ball will barely fit into the neck of the bottle on the end of the wood dowel rod. This might take you a few adjustment attempts to get it right, but once you do, it should work perfectly.
even knowing the secret to building this, I'm going to tell you that it was still very difficult. I bought a four pack of this drink. Well, the first attempt didn't go so good. The second attempt, eh, it got a little bit better. The third attempt, I thought I had it, but the peg was a little bit too small. And I was able to get the ball past it fairly easily. This project was extremely fun. It also was extremely aggravating. But in the end, when I got it right, extremely satisfying. Thanks for watching Alley Picked, where I love making cool things out of junk. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.